All right, Paul eigenvalue placement for linear systems. I mean, uh, undergraduate material deals with, or classical control deals with Laplace domain formulations and poles. So if you look at the literature, it is often called pole placement. But when you do it in state space form, it is actually arguing eigenvalue placement. And yes, for minimal systems, when a system is controllable and observable, eigenvalues of the state space equals to the poles of the transfer function. If you want me to discuss these details, uh, these details more in depth, let me know. I will now focus on the eigenvalue placement problem. All right, in control, we try to make closed loop matrices Hurwitz. Why? For closed loop stability, asymptotic stability, or exponential for linear systems. Let's look at two examples. Uh, x dot equals to ax plus bu, u equals to kx. State is available, I would like to focus on the stabilization problem. When you plug this controller back to here, you are going to have a minus bk. You would like to make a minus bk Hurwitz. What I mean by Hurwitz, you want all poles to lie on the left half plane, or I can read this. So you need to choose gain k. Here a is n by n, b is n by m, so k needs to be m by n. So pole placement or eigenvalue placement is one popular method to make a minus bk Hurwitz. I am going to explain the steps momentarily. Um, if you want, you can directly go that part of the video. I would like to give the second example. Now, let's say states are not available. We need to use output x dot equals to ax plus bu, y is cx, and these matrices again has some appropriate dimensions. Our stabilization controller is u equals to minus kx hat. We don't know x, we need to estimate. So here is our Lohenberger observer mimicking the system ax hat plus bu. And now here is the Lohenberger gain l, y available to us minus cx hat. So first of all, let's find the closed loop system. In this case, closed loop system is governed by two ordinary differential equations, x dot. And we are going to introduce x tilde dot or x hat dot. So we need to use these two equations. Let's start with x dot ax plus bu, plug-in controller minus k x hat. You have this equation. Now I am adding and subtracting b k x. And I am going to use the negative one with the second term, I am grouping, doing grouping, a minus bk. For the second term, I am going to group with this plus bk x minus x hat. This is the estimation error. We want x hat to converge x so that we can recover the state. So this is x tilde. a minus bk plus bk x tilde. Now let's find x tilde dot equation. This minus this, or ax bu minus ax hat bu lc x tilde. lc x tilde is coming from l. Since this is cx, you can write it this as cx minus cx hat, or lc x tilde. Now, you arrive ax minus ax hat minus lc x tilde. bu terms will cancel out with each other. To make the long story short, you have a minus lc x tilde. Now, here, if you write x dot and x tilde dot together, you have this system a, b, k, b, k, 0, a, l, c, x, and x tilde. Once again, control engineers number one problem, we would like to make this uh, system Hurwitz. Thanks to the upper triangular structure, if the spectrum or eigenvalues of a minus b, k is on the left, half plane and eigenvalues of a minus lc also on the left half plane then we say this system's eigenvalues are also a combination of these two eigenvalues so all will be on the left half plane so once again we have we need to choose gain k like in here to make a minus bk Hurwitz in here as well we need to choose gain k to make a minus bk Hurwitz and also we need to choose this to make this Hurwitz. I would like to talk a little bit more about A minus LC. First, first of all, spectrum of ALC equals to, it is transpose, 
eigenvalues, it won't change. And if you look at its transpose, A transpose minus C transpose L transpose. So we need to choose L transpose in this case to make A transpose minus C transpose L transpose Hurwitz. So in here, let me use my blue marker. Since this structure is similar to this, I am going to call, I, am, I will explain pole placement within the context of making F minus G K star Hurwitz. You can call this as, if you are trying to apply pole placement to this, this becomes your F, this becomes your G, this becomes your K star. If you are applying pole placement to A minus BK or A minus BK here, this becomes your F, this becomes your G, this becomes your K star. All right, now um, I also would like to mention this YouTube video on my channel. So in that video, I talk about uh, more different um, command following and stabilization control architectures, both state feedback and output feedback. Um, and in that video, I am mentioning, you know, make some matrix like F minus GK star Hurwitz, then follow the design steps. You can watch that video and use pole placement to do command following uh, for the, uh, for uh, here. I'm just going to talk about stabilization within the context of stabilization, but you will need to make things Hurwitz also on that video. So if you haven't watched, watch it apply pole placement, make close-up system Hurwitz, then you can also use this for command following problem, within the context of command following problem. All right, now focusing on the main part of the video, what is pole placement? I will explain step by step. Pole placement is a technique that allows you to make F minus GK star type of structures Hurwitz. You place the eigenvalues by choosing uh, in a particular way that I'm going to explain. First of all, number one step, check if F and G controllable, like if A and B in this A controllable, then there always exists K to place the poles to wherever you want. This will have N poles and you can choose N poles and you can do whatever you want. This also applies to this estimation problem, right? meaning that A transpose C transpose needs to be controllable, which is equivalent to saying A C observable. So they are dual notions. If A C observable, then A transpose C transpose becomes controllable, then you can always find L or L transpose to have A minus L C hurts. Okay, moving forward. That's the number one. Check controllability of the FG, either for the control, control, um, state control problem or for the estimation problem. Then, find your characteristic execution, basically eigenvalues. Find, cal calculate determinant of lambda i minus f minus g k star. This will give you the eigenvalue polynomial. Let's focus on an example. Let's say f is 0, 1, 1, minus 1 and G is 0, 2, K star, you don't know it, K1 and K2. If you calculate the determinant of this characteristic equation, you are going to have this polynomial. For now, let's mark this polynomial. We are going to use it in the last step. Now, step three, form desired characteristic equation. I'm going to call it gamma of lambda. This will be a polynomial that captures where you want your eigenvalues, desired eigenvalues to be. For example, let's say I want my closed eigenvalues, imaginary axis, real axis, one of them at minus one, one of them at minus two. Why not? You can repeat this example for another desired eigenvalue. Of course, for if you want to make it Hurwitz, all needs to be on the left out plane. In this case, I am looking at lambda plus one coming from here, lambda plus two coming from here, because when I set it to zero, I am going to get lambda minus one, lambda minus two, my desired polynomial. Now, let's also mark it as rec, red. Final step is the pole placement or eigenvalue placement, do the matching, simple. 
match step three with the result of step three to the result of step two. So I want my I, I want my characteristic, actual characteristic equation, which captures my eigenvalues, to match with the desired character, characteristic equation that I choose. And since it is controllable, you can choose any eigenvalues. In this case, this is two by two. I am choosing two eigenvalues. For the general case, n by n, you can choose n eigenvalues. So, meaning step four says that they need to match so looking at here this term needs to be equal to three which is this one if you solve this you are going to get k2 equals to one likewise this needs to match with this if you solve this you are going to get k1 equals to 1.5 so if you choose k star with k1 equals to 1.5 and k2 equals to 1, then your closed loop system will have two eigenvalues, which is one of them is located at minus 1, one of them located at minus 2. You can do this in a faster way in MATLAB. So once you know your A and G matrices, use the command place, put your F, put your G, put your desired eigenvalues, minus one and minus two. You can also write minus two and minus one, nothing will change. MATLAB will give you 1.5 and one. All right, so I hope you find this video helpful. Before I close, I would like to mention one more trick, um, right? If basically you are, so right now you can directly use it for A minus BK. When you are using this for A minus LC, you be put this to this form. So don't forget, F becomes A transpose, G becomes C transpose, and K star will be L transpose, right? So after you find, basically, you need to take the transpose of this to find L. Just keep it in mind. So it will give you, if you use, you use it for the estimation problem, and use A transpose, C transpose, you are going to get L transpose. So take another transpose to get actual L. So this is something that I wanted to mention. So again, I hope you find this video helpful and uh, feel free to comment any interesting topics that you want me to cover. Thanks.